Hello, what's up guys? Jay the Stingray back here again on the House of Horror for another horror movie review for you. Today is going to be All Cheerleaders Die from 2013. I watched this the other day. This is on Netflix Instant, uh, at least in the U.S. I know, so uh, if you want to go check it out for free on there, you can. Um, but yeah, I really didn't know what to expect from this movie. I knew it was a new horror movie. I added it to my queue or whatever a few months ago when it, when it first came on there. This came out in like July or something on the DVD a couple months ago. And uh, I really, you know, hadn't gotten around to watching it. And then I saw a trailer for it before a movie I watched uh, last week. I don't remember the uh, the name of it. But I um, saw the trailer and I was, you know, pretty intrigued. It looked really interesting. And, uh, yeah, checked it out. And uh, there's a lot of things I like, a lot of things I dislike about this movie. But it, it is directed by Lucky McKee and Chris Silverston. And they actually did a movie of the same title, All Cheerleaders Die, from uh, back in 2001, which I wasn't even aware of. And I was looking around. I couldn't really find it anywhere. I saw a few places online for it to watch, but I don't think it's actually gotten a proper DVD release here in the U.S. But, uh, yeah, looking forward to checking that out as well. But, um, yeah, it's kind of interesting. Like, I, I'm a big fan of Lucky McKee, so I, if I had known he had directed this, I would have watched it before now. But, um it's an interesting film. I feel like I'm maybe a little bit too old for the, uh, you know, for the for the audience for this movie. But uh, it's it's some pretty cool horror stuff in there. It's just a lot of, uh, like teenage, you know, eighteen, nineteen year old type drama bullshit that I don't really care about. And uh, you know, a lot of stuff that's not very realistic as far as the relationships and stuff go. But um, stars a uh, Caitlin Stassi. Siona Smith McPhee, which is Cody Smith McPhee's uh, sister, he he's the guy that was in the uh, Let Me In remake, uh, Let the Right One In remake, and it also stars Brooke Butler. And uh, I thought for the most part all the actresses did an okay job. It's it's basically cheerleaders and they all uh, die in a car accident, and one of the the friends, uh, one of the cheerleaders, her. Uh, ex-girlfriend whatever she's a witch and brings them all back to life somehow with like witch powers it's it's really bizarre the whole thing that happens but i'm not really going to question that a whole lot but um she's got these like glowing rocks that she says some spells or some shit and the the rocks kind of glow and they go inside their like uh you know their wounds when they're when they died and then that's how they come back to life and that comes into play later on as well the rocks but um, the whole the uh, the main nemesis in the movie is the uh, the captain of the football team and the ex boyfriend of one of the cheerleaders. His name is uh, Terry in the movie, played by Tom Williamson. I gotta say, this guy did a really good job at making me like hate his guts. Like he's an absolute asshole. He treats everybody like shit. And for some reason, all the other football guys are like all over his dick. Like they will do whatever he says at any time you know, regardless of what it is, like, they're the ones that ran these girls off the road, um, not really a big spoiler, because I think it shows that in the trailer, but, um, like, to the extent of, you know, murdering people, you know, like, so, I don't know, it's not very realistic in that aspect, I don't think, I don't think the captain of our football team had that much uh, control on the, the players, but, <laughs> it's just me personally, but, um, yeah, man, I, I really hated that that Terry guy, and he's he's the main bad guy throughout the whole movie, and he does a great job. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's a lot of all the horror elements I really enjoy. The uh, the cheerleaders, you know, they have to feed on blood for some reason. So essentially, they're like, uh, I guess, a mix between like a vampire and a zombie. Like they get weak if they don't drink blood, but they don't necessarily look uh, decrepit or anything. But um, some, uh, you know, decent comedy in there as well. But, uh, yeah, this is probably not one I'm going to go back and revisit. Um, just because it's just a lot of stuff I don't like. Like, you could probably f easily fast forward to the first 30 minutes of this movie and, and still get a good, you know, good watch. You know, fast forward until they turn into the zombie vampire things. Zombie witch vampires. Ugh, whatever. But, um... I definitely want to go check out the the original film, and um, if I had watched this and not known Lucky McKee directed it or co-directed it, I wouldn't have known. It, it's not 
like similar to anything he's ever done in my opinion um i don't know it just seems like something aimed at a younger crowd and uh yeah it's uh if you guys have seen it please let me know what you think i'm still kind of i mean it's i guess in one way it did you know i'm still thinking about the movie because it it was so bizarre uh you know the plot and everything but um yeah you know not a bad watch you may want to check it out it is on netflix like i said so you can go check it out there and uh yeah let me know what you think thanks for watching